So, hey, welcome back. This is Michelle with Relationships Through the Looking Glass. This is day 21. Nine more days. 21, day 21. So, yeah, today's the mermaid. We're going to talk about the inspiration behind the character, the mermaid. So the inspiration behind the mermaid is actually representing the higher self, the self of the higherness, the higher plane, the higher vibrational energy that makes up who Alice is. A key or hint to that is when she tells Alice, you can always connect with me through meditation. That and the fact that it's a mermaid, which kind of makes you think of a Pisces and that's kind of what I am. So... That made it easier. Um, and the fact that she's near water, because she's a mermaid, but also water is a great place for you to meditate and to connect with higher self and things of that nature. So the inspiration behind the mermaid is just a higher version of Alice, right? Um, and to look at herself in a way of stepping away from the event to get a different perspective of the event. And when you are communicating or meditating, that's kind of a technique that can be done to allow you to see things in a different perspective, right? To see things from a God's eye view, if you will. So to be able to look at certain situations, not as if you were in them, but as if you are witnessing it can be a technique to allow you to see different aspects of whatever's going on and that's one of the lessons that the mermaid character kind of explained to Alice so this episode is going to be super duper short because it's a really straight to the point explanation the mermaid is the higher self and Alice was able to learn what to what to kind of do when you were look trying to see things from a different perspective so I am back in my rightful place now so I can add a little razzle dazzle to this episode and of course tomorrow's episode which we will be learning about the inspiration of who or what made up the character the wolf. So hopefully you guys are enjoying your Thursday the 21st of October as we are rounding out third heading for home on this challenge here and that you guys are definitely peeking into the other podcasters again thank you so much if you have been with me from day one thank you so much if you've been someone who's listened to the down um, the podcast from any of us and again thank you if you are one of the ones who has allowed us to be three of the top five episodes downloaded um for the challenge so thank you Thank you, thank you. All the gratitude to you. So come back tomorrow to find out what a lot of people want to know. Who or what is the inspiration behind the wolf character? So as always, you guys take care, stay safe, and be well.